Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a nice radical equation, a very radical equation. We have the square root of x plus 4 times the square root of x minus 4 equals 1 plus the square root of x plus 2 times the square root of x minus 1. This is not the original form the, of the, the original version of the problem, I modified a little bit because that probably wouldn't fit on one line. And this problem actually comes from Turkish Math Olympiads. A manageable problem, easy problem, especially for starters. And here's the problem one more time. We have this radical equation and we're supposed to solve for x values. Now, before we get into the solution, I want to show you something. And that will be the graph of these two functions. Now, looking at the graph, where do you think these two are supposed to intersect? And how many solutions will there be? Just think about it, make some guesses, and we're going to verify that at the end. Okay, ready? So let's go ahead and do the following. We have two radicals, right? And they're on different sides. So that would make sense for our first method. I think it would make sense if we squared both sides, don't you think? Because we will get rid of some of the radicals at least. Now, when you square both sides, you're going to get x plus 4 times the square root of x minus 4 equals, now this is a sum, so 1 plus x plus 2 times the square root of x minus 1, and then that takes care of a squared plus b squared, and then we have to do the 2ab thing, which is normally in the middle, but I kind of write it at the end, like this. Now, certain terms are going to cancel out, such as x cancels out, and I guess that's it. And then we kind of have this expression, everything is divisible by 2 except for this, so that's going to cause a problem. Let's leave it at that. And maybe do a little bit of putting some radicals on the same side. Since this looks to be a more complicated radical, let's put everything else on the left-hand side. So we're going to get something like this. 4 times the square root of x minus 4 minus 2 times the square root of x minus 1 minus 1 equals 2 times the square root of x plus 2 times the square root of x minus 1. Looks good. Now, we're going to square both sides one more time. But guess what? You're going to get rid of a lot of radicals on the right hand side, we're, gonna, we're still going to have this, but the problem is on the left hand side, if you think about it, if you square a plus b plus c or a minus b minus c, you're going to have six terms, right? So it's going to look like this, 16 times x minus 4 plus 4 times x minus 1 plus 1, and you're going to look at the two-way products such as minus 16 times x minus 4 times x minus 1, which is going to give you under the radical square root of x squared, I mean under the radical x squared minus 5x plus 4, and this is going to complicate things a great deal. So, I don't think we're going to be able to find x from here, because you can never get rid of all the radicals, or if there's a way to do it, our equation is probably going to be a very high degree equation, okay? So, first solution is like, what? Are you serious? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. We still haven't found any solutions yet. So again, I'll, I want to show you the graph one more time. And what do you think about possible solutions? Okay, here's another look at this problem. We have the square root of x plus 4 times the square root of x minus 4. And I'm pretty sure some of you have thought about this problem already. And there, you're thinking probably the second method, right? Okay, now cool. This expression gets way too complicated when I square both sides, so we're not going to do it, okay? What, what else can we do? Well, if you look at these expressions carefully, for, for example, the first one, like this one, this can actually be manipulated a little bit. Again, do not manipulate people, manipulate expressions, and this can be written as x minus 4 plus 4 times the square root of x minus 4 plus 4. So what I did was basically subtracted 4 and added 4, which is 0 at the end, but my expression is now more meaningful because notice that this x minus 4 is this number squared. So if you kind of call this a, this will be a squared plus 4a plus 4. And what does that remind you? Yes, it should remind you a plus 2 squared. Make sense? In other words, this expression under the radical is square root of x minus 4 plus 2 quantity squared. And with the square root, you just get rid of the radical and write this as the square root of x minus 4 plus 2. But isn't that absolute value? Yes, but this is absolutely positive quantity, so we're good. Make sense? So by the same token, if you have 
square root of x plus 2 times the square root of x minus 1. You can go ahead and write it as the square root of x minus 1 plus 2 times the square root of x minus 1 plus 1. Notice that negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so we're in good shape. But this expression becomes the square root of x minus 1 plus 1 quantity squared, and then we have to square root it, which means the square and the square root are going to cancel out, and now we're going to end up with the square root of x minus 1 plus 1. Again, simpler expressions by manipulating these, and now we haven't done any squaring, we haven't done any solving, we just simplified each radical. Make sense? Are you following? And you're like, is this true? Yes, it is, because absolute value is going to give us positive results, and that's what it is. Make sense? So we got two expressions, this one and this one. What are we going to do with those? We're going to put those together, right? Remember, the original problem was the square root of x plus 4 times the square root of x minus 4 equals, and by the way, the very original problem was a little different. It, the radicals were on the same side. I just modified a little bit, and that doesn't really change the domain, okay? Because we're not kind of dividing or multiplying by anything. We're just subtracting or adding, right? So now, this is the original equation, and we were able to get uh, simpler results. Like for the first one, we have the square root of x minus 4 plus 2. And for the second one, we have the square root of x minus 1 plus 1. Awesome. No radicals, no squares. Now take a look at this and take a very good look. Notice that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. You hopefully knew that, right? Obviously. 1 plus 1 equals 2, so they're going to cancel out. So we end up something like square root of x minus 4. Can't even write it. Square root of x minus 4 equals the square root of x minus 1. What is that supposed to mean? Yes, we can square both sides at this point. It's good. And we're going to end up with x minus 4 equals x minus 1. Think about a number. You, you subtract 4 from it or 1 from it, you get the same number. Is that possible? Now, if this is not good enough, go ahead and subtract x from both sides. You're going to get x negative 4 equals negative 1. Or if you want to add 4 to both sides, you're going to get something similar. But again, this is not true at all. This is nonsense. This can never happen. What does that mean? Like, are you serious? Well, what is the solution then, right? Infinity, because if x approaches infinity, obviously x minus 4 is going to approach infinity and x minus 1 is going to approach. x minus 4 and x minus 1 are both going to approach infinity. So x can be infinity? No, because infinity is not a number, it's just a concept and it's limits. We're not taking limits here. We're just trying to solve for x. We're solving an equation, right? You can't take limits. Therefore, there are no solutions, right? Now, from that perspective, absolutely, the graphs kind of seem to intersect, but they don't. That was kind of deceiving, right, doesn't it? And Wolfram Alpha says, no solutions exist. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.